Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. In today's video, we're going to be discussing jailbreaking not only the upcoming 11.3.1 utility, but also iOS 12 beta one. <laughs> All right, so before we get into it, this is kind of a multi-part series. The past couple parts will be linked below the most recent one in your cards right now. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, click that subscribe button below and ding that notification bell. That way you won't miss out any time we cover jailbreak updates and or when we actually push out our tutorial for the final utility. All right, so this first update comes out of Coolstar who retweeted a tweet from Noel Pixel, who's seemingly a developer that he's working with to actually create that jailbreak. He said, quote, already said it, but Corellium HQ is really awesome. Going to fix up jailbreak D on 11.3.x with it without having to worry about root FS remount issue for now. So for those of you who don't remember from my last update, we actually discussed how there is a file system issue when actually remounting it post jailbreak again for 11.3.x. Well now Null Pixel doesn't have to worry about it utilizing Corellium HQ and he can focus on jailbreak D. So a critical portion of the jailbreak. So essentially they're going to actually work backwards after they get some parts of the jailbreak fixed because of this awesome tool that Corellium HQ, which allows them to simulate devices without actually having to have them. At least that's what it seems like from this tweet. So some really awesome news that development is still continuing on the jailbreak. And again, I am positive that by the time something is finally released, that they will have it fully fleshed out and it will be working perfectly fine on 11.3.x, just like it will on 11.2.x, because I didn't actually cover this yet, but Coolstar said that his own personal device is in fact running 11.3.1 and that he's going to ensure that everything is functioning prior to the release of a jailbreak. So guys, don't worry. Don't freak out if you happen to update. In fact, if you did update, as mentioned during my last video, you should actually feel better because your device will be more stable on a jailbreak simply because of the nature of iOS updates and how Apple handles stability and performance enhancements from release to release. And as kind of a last minute update, post recording, Coolstar tweeted out, quote, got most of the jailbreak D patches running fairly stable on 11.3.1. No need to remount patch just yet, thanks to Corellium HQ. Still have some work to do, but it's nice to be able to test without the unstable remount patch, which is what I said previously, simply that they're going to do some other parts of the jailbreak first, finalize things up, and then work backwards and take care of that remount issue for 11.3. 3.x users. All right, now this next bit is super exciting. It's actually pertaining to iOS 12 beta one, which has already been jailbroken by Lian Chang, who is a hacker that has participated in the public eye. He actually did win the mobile phone to own 2013 iOS prize. And it seems like he's working with Keen Labs to release this jailbreak demo on iOS 12 beta one. So some very awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and roll this video. I'm going to give my commentary as this thing's playing again, this is a jailbreak demo for iOS 12 beta one running on an iPhone 10. So right up front off the bat, he actually opens up the settings application and he goes back inside of general and then software update just to confirm that he is in fact running iOS 12 beta because you can see right there, it said automatic updates, which is a feature exclusive to iOS 12. So he's not faking the version number or anything at all, which also does state 12.0 with the latest build number. And then he launches up the jailbreak application. Again, the custom app that will allow for root access he taps on jailbreak, it goes through the procedure, and then after that, it just goes through the process to actually jailbreak the iPhone 10. I'm just scrubbing through here. It goes through a respring, and then it comes back up. He unlocks it, puts in his passcode, and scrolls over, and boom, there we have Cydia running on the iPhone 10 on iOS 12 beta 1. He opens it up, scrolls down to the bottom, and Cydia's identifier just confirms that, again, on the bottom, that this is an iPhone 10 
running iOS 12. So some very awesome stuff. If there is a will, there is a way guys and jailbreaking will continue to persist. Now, while this is extremely exciting, just because it is a demo doesn't mean that we will see anything released anytime soon. I'm 100% confident that we're not going to get an iOS 12 beta jailbreak, but what it does mean is that it is still possible to jailbreak, obviously running on the latest firmware that is slated for release later this fall. So iOS 12 will probably be jailbroken at some point in the future, and this video just sheds some additional hope on that. Remember, as I've said in the past, don't get too pumped or buy into jailbreak demos completely simply because that doesn't necessarily mean that a release is imminent or even that that team group or individual is going to release a jailbreak. Again, it's just exciting that it is still theoretically possible to jailbreak on iOS 12. And this does provide some additional hype for the iOS 11.3.x jailbreak, which will probably be the last jailbreak of iOS 11. I really hope you guys like this video. Again, just trying to keep you in the loop. Links to everything down below in the description. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.